Hey YouTube, so today we're going to be growing zinnias, geraniums, papaya seeds, turmeric, and then I have a little surprise for you at the end. So let's get to it. I already have my seed starter trays right here ready. They have good thin compost in it. The first one we're growing are the zinnias. If you've never seen zinnias before, they are a really colorful flower. Um, they really like look like spring and summer like they are just so alive and they come in a lot of colors I'm only going to grow a few, but they grow prolifically They're really easy to grow. I've talked to you before about like if you ever want to feel like a good gardener there are some um, Flowers that like really get you there. This is one of them. Okay All right so I'm only gonna start with like one seed tray and if you are if you want like a garden you this is one of those flowers that like just by itself you could start a whole garden and it would look awesome um so I'm gonna start with a few you start with as many as you'd like and I think this is the type of plant that'll come back like year over year so it'll definitely pay off Additionally, this is something I always like to talk about. I don't know if everybody cares for it as much as I do. I think this is one of those plants that comes in a lot of colors. So if you have a color scheme that you're going for in your garden, this is one of the plants that like will be very adaptable. So you can find it in a lot of different colors and colors that match with whatever scheme you're going for. So let's put that there, put here. So right now I'm definitely focusing on planting more flowers than I've been in the past so like in the fall you plant vegetables because that's what does well in the fall and now as we approach summer and we're in that like in between between spring and summer now is definitely when you want to be concentrating on flowers so the next thing that we are going to plant are geranium seeds which I am really excited for and I forgot how excited I was for these. I only brought one seed tray, but I actually intend on planting like every single one of these because I want to use these in my front yard, like to line the sidewalk. And to do that, you need more than six plants. You need quite a few, but okay, let's see what they look like. That's what that seed looks like, a geranium seed. And then you just remember, you just need the slightest little hole. There we go. Okay. So once we're done, I will go back and do more seed trays because I am actually really excited to use these to line the sidewalks. So that looks good now, but I will have plenty more later. And that's the great part about growing seeds is that if you like something, there's really nothing keeping you from doing it like in quantity because a pack of seeds is three dollars and if you want to do a ton of them then do a ton of them okay so i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing this right i have agaratum seeds that i'm going to plant so i have my seed tray all prepared i wasn't able to find papaya seeds um in order to do that with you but i did want to talk to you about it oh okay so look this happens sometimes I didn't do research, so I'm finding out with you. Look at how small these seeds are. So whenever you have small seeds, you want something, rather than a seed tray, what I have found is that it is typically better to do one of these strawberry trays that I've shown you before, like I've shown you the hack before, because when you have that many seeds, it is hard to put one down exactly. I find that this kind of setup works better whenever the seeds are really small so you just go like that sprinkle it all over the soil and i think that might have actually been on the heavy side but there are still a ton of seeds in here So I'm gonna label these and then go get the soil to, to put a little. So when you have a seed that is that small, the soil that you're getting isn't actually usually to 
like bury it down deep it is to just to provide a light coating on top of the seeds so that the seeds don't um wash away if they get hit by water or something so don't actually go too heavy because a lot of these seeds need a good amount of light but what i will suggest is just a light coating of soil on top um so that if some water does hit them norm as you know i normally bottle water but if some water does hit them the seeds don't go like rolling off the soil and you lose them all okay so here we have our seed trays here this is the last one and then um so the last one that i was telling you about was if you heard me speaking with patrina on the blog you know that we talked about planting culantro and I was able to find some seeds and there are so many. So I was gonna plant them in that, but I didn't realize how small those seeds would be. But I literally have a thousand seeds. So let's look at them. I will show them to you now. So culantro, the reason you would plant culantro is they are an option if you're in like tropical climate as opposed to planting cilantro which Petrina was telling me can be really moody like kind of like a diva plant like you never know if they're going to be okay or not so i'm going to take cilantro uh culantro excuse me plant them in my seed trays so last thing to talk about as i label the culantro it are the papaya seeds so I think it's always a good time to plant papaya seeds in Florida. You can do it kind of whenever. The way that I have gotten all my papaya trees culantro, is through compost. I will compost the seeds of a papaya whenever I eat one at home and they grow straight in the compost. Like you don't even have to do anything with them. You can just start pulling out the trees. So if you're gonna grow that just know that it's super simple to plant out okay so now final thing that we're gonna plant is the turmeric so the turmeric as you can see i do not have a setup here for it i'm gonna go to a flower bed because the turmeric is really easy to grow dig a trench in the dirt and plant the bulbs you buy at the grocery store directly in your vegetable bed not only can you harvest the rhizome but the flower is beautiful they remind me of tulips okay so that's it for today if you're enjoying and want to see how these plants do like and subscribe and i will see you here again later bye